What's up everybody, it's Blaze from Funbox here, and you know what, if you haven't seen the theory video for this section yet, I suggest you guys go back um, and watch that video. There should be a card that pops up any second now. Uh, for the rest of us, however, let's get right into this video. It's going to be very short. So right now, what we have in our system is if I try left clicking, spamming the left mouse button, you can see that I can interrupt and basically break the game, right? It interrupts the flow of the animations, it interrupts the sequences, a whole bunch of things breaks. So to prevent that from happening, what I'm going to do is, like I said in that video, is we're going to throw in our allow input. And this is a variable that'll basically just switch between true and false, right? So it's a bool set it to false, just at default. Now, obviously for our global left released, we need to be able to control that because that's essentially what's interrupting our code, right? Whenever we release the left mouse button after clicking, then it runs whatever code is associated with it, which is this, the attack animation. And we are going to control that. So, all we have to do is check for if allow input open brace and down here we close that off let's indent that right and so now we're going to check if allow input is true this creates a problem for us because now well it's not a problem it's more like it's solving it one step at a time so now we can't actually have any input at all because of course this flag is still set to false Let's go into the step event. Here in the step event, uh, right towards the bottom of the start turn phase, and just before we go and change uh, the combat phase itself, let's allow for input now. Allow input. And we're going to set that to true. All right, just like that. All right. So now that we have that here, let's try playing our game. All right, if I left click, we get the same problem as before. Why is that? Remember, we are checking to see if this allow input in our global left released is true. And if it is true, then we're going to allow for inputs. The problem that we have here is that allow input is set to true at the end of the turn um, start phase. And so what we need to do is go back into global left released and right before the end of the code block here, we're going to set allow input. We're going to set that to false. Now you do have the option of taking this and putting it right at the top here, right before the with statement. That's totally fine. Doesn't really change anything. I'm just putting it here for readability's sake, uh, for easy navigation, I guess. Uh, later on in the series, we are going to uh, take all of this allow input, setting it to true and false, and we're going to put it into an event. But for now, because we haven't got the buttons yet, we'll just keep it as it is. All right, so let's try playing our game now. And we can see here that we are now in the wait phase, phase two. And if I try spam clicking, it's going to play the animation sequence uninterrupted. Right? which is exactly what we wanted. And on that note, we are finished with this section of this uh, series. All right, so we've fixed this, we've fixed this bug there. We've fixed this bug and now we don't have the problem of left mouse button spamming. So that's all good. The next section is going to be HP bars. So the very start of our UI, uh, but if you guys have your own UI, that's great. If you don't, that's okay. We'll be going through that in that particular video. Anyway, that's all from me. Thank you very much for tuning in, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.